Assalamualaikum and hi. So, welcome to chapter 9 which is about carbonic compounds. So, basically chapter 9 has four subtopics but in this video, I'm going to explain further about subtopic 9.1 which is about introduction to the carbonic compounds. Okay, so here's the mind maps of learning outcomes on what we need to learn on chapter 9. Here's the linear outcomes for subtopic 9.1, which by the end of the lesson, you should know how to give the general formula of aldehydes and ketones. Okay, carbonyl compounds ni, basically, dia terbagi kepada dua, sama ada dia boleh jadi aldehyde ataupun ketones. Tetapi, aldehyde dengan ketones ni, since that mereka ada the same functional group, which is carbonyl group C double bond O. That's why orang tergolong di dalam carbonyl compounds, okay? Cuma apa yang membezakan aldehyde dengan ketones adalah, aldehyde ni, Kalau let's say you nampak organic compound di mana dekat hujung tu ada C double bond OH. Okay, uh, ni dia dekat hujung-hujung lah. Biasanya aldehyde ni. C double bond OH ni dan we call it as aldehyde. Ketone biasanya dia akan berada di tengah-tengah. Sebabnya, uh, kalau let's say you nampak functional group C double bond O diapit oleh uh, dua carbon ataupun dua different alkyl groups ataupun dua alkyl groups uh, then we call it as ketone okay uh, then mereka berdua ni mempunyai general formula of CN H2NO uh, aldehyde dengan ketone ni masing-masing adalah uh, isomers to each other okay uh, carbonic compounds are polar molecule how do you know it's a polar molecule because if you look at the C double bond O you know that O ni is more electronegative compared to carbon. Okay? So, because there are the perbezaan electronegativity kat situ, that's why uh, they are polar molecules. Okay? In general, an aldehyde is more reactive than ketone towards nucleophilic addition reaction. Okay? So, basically, uh, Dora akan buat chemical reaction genus addition reaction, tetapi because C double bond O adalah electrophilic side, okay? Uh, C double bond O ni adalah electrophilic side, okay? So, makanya kita dah belajar dekat subtopik 4.1. Kalau electrophilic side, dia punya pasangan dia adalah reagent, uh, reagent nucleophile, okay? Uh, tapi jenis chemical reaction yang uh, carbon ni akan buat adalah addition reaction tapi jenis addition reaction apa? nucleophilic addition reaction 